Hello and welcome to Buddhist Store Global's Weekly News Review. I'm Dr. Justin Whitaker, Senior Correspondent for BDG, wishing you a happy and healthy 2021. In this week's news, the Dalai Lama, Greta Thunberg, and scientists will discuss the crisis of climate feedback loops this month. His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Swedish environmental activist Greta Thunberg will speak with leading scientists on January 9th about growing concern over climate feedback loops, human-induced changes in the environment that accelerate global warming. The discussion will be hosted by the Mind and Life Institute, drawing from the Dalai Lama's latest book, Greta Thunberg's Activism, and a new series of educational films on climate change. Climate feedback loops have come under greater scrutiny in recent years, driving increased urgency among environmental activists. The discussion will be offered as a free live-streamed event on January 9th from 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and is expected to explore various ways that people can address and confront this addition to the climate crisis. In Korea, the Join Together Society brings warmth to vulnerable communities amid the winter freeze. The Buddhist Humanitarian Relief Organization is spreading the warmth of compassion through a 10,000 US dollar project to distribute coal briquettes to vulnerable households across South Korea as the country settles into another cold winter season when temperatures can sometimes drop as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius. As recently as 30 years ago, lignite coal briquettes were the main fuel for heating and cooking in Korean households and are still relied upon by some impoverished communities. Due to the outbreak of COVID-19, donations of briquettes for underprivileged families nationwide have dropped to a third of levels recorded a year earlier. To offset this shortfall, JTS Korea, an international aid organization working to eradicate poverty and hunger through humanitarian relief and sustainable development, is providing vulnerable communities with briquettes provided by the warm hearts of Buddhist donors. In Russia, Kalmyk Buddhists mark the 15th anniversary of the golden abode of Shakyamuni Buddha. Buddhists in Kalmykia celebrated the 15th anniversary of the country's central Kurul or monastery, the golden abode of Shakyamuni Buddha, on December 27th. During the commemorative prayer service and ceremony, Telo Toko Rinpoche, the Shajin or head lama of the Kalmyk people, expressed gratitude to all those who have supported the central Kurul over the last 15 years. He offered thanks to His Holiness the Dalai Lama as a spiritual leader to the Kalmyks and to the first president of Kalmykia, Kirsan Ilumzinov, who was instrumental in the construction of this and many other Buddhist temples. In further Engaged Buddhism news, the International Network of Engaged Buddhists, INEB, in cooperation with the Buddhist Humanitarian Relief Organization Join Together Society Korea, JTS Korea, will launch a female Sangha initiative for social transformation in Southeast Asia. The two have called for grant applications from Sanghas, groups, and organizations across Buddhist traditions in Southeast Asia. Coordinated by INEB and funded by JTS Korea, the Female Sangha Initiative for Social Transformation in Southeast Asia aims to offer an avenue for addressing social inequities facing female practitioners in Buddhist communities across the region, and to empower women as leaders of and agents of social change and transformation. Under the scheme, funding will be provided to projects and organizations that aim to remedy education shortfalls, structural oppression, materialism, and gender discrimination within lay and monastic communities. An update from Buddhist Relief on JTS Korea transforming the lives of Rohingya refugees. In January 2019, Venerable Ponyam Sunim led a delegation of aid representatives to deliver a consignment of 100,000 gas stoves to a refugee camp in Cox Bazar, a district in Bangladesh's Chittagong Division. The stoves were provided by JTS Korea and JTS America in cooperation with the Korea International Cooperation Agency. Since then, the UN World Food Program and the International Organization on Migration have committed to oversee stove maintenance and to supply fuel. Some half million Rohingya refugees have benefited from the stoves, which have helped to reduce malnutrition and eliminated the need for women and children to walk up to seven or eight kilometers to gather firewood. And lastly, bringing in the new year was a celebration of the Buddha called On His Lotus Seat. 
as 2020 drew to a close and we looked at 2021, perhaps with relief or with hope for new opportunities and positive change, organizations founded by the renowned Bhutanese Lama filmmaker and author Zongsar Jamyang Kinsei Rinpoche offered a global online event on his lotus seat, A Celebration of the Buddha, as an opportunity to revisit the foundation of the Buddha Dharma, refuge in the three jewels, the Buddha, Dharma, and the Sangha. The global gathering was organized by Bhumi Sparsha, a project of Siddhartha's intent, 84,000, translating the words of the Buddha, and the Kumara Jiva Project, a Kinsei Foundation initiative. That is all for this week's BDG News Review. If you enjoy regular news videos delivered to you each week, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and share this video with friends. We appreciate your support and feedback in the comments below. Be sure to check out our website, BuddhaStore.net, for these stories along with features and special coverage of Buddhism around the world.